Hello everyone, this is Dave from Dave's Resend Things. Two down, and we are adding another one today. Day number three of my Halloween series. I'm hoping you're enjoying this week so far. I've got four more coming, plus that bonus episode totaling eight videos consecutively in a row, all celebrating Halloween. Why don't I just get started and I'll show you what I made. I found this mirrored tray at my local dollar store and I just loved the colors of it. I loved the size of it. I thought it would be a perfect base for our wreath along with this little plastic skull, two and a half inch wired ribbon, and some tool from the Dollarama. If you can't find that tool or don't have a Dollarama, there's some at the Dollar Tree as well. And these glittery spiders, some acrylic paints, and of course, my usual handy dandy crafting tools to create this project today. I'm going to start off just by cutting out that hollowed plastic skull. I'm just going to take the back off such that it lays nice and flat up against that mirror. And I'm using an X-Acto knife and I'm finishing it off with some scissors just to create a nice level cut so it sits nice on that mirror. And then all I'm going to do is take some hot glue, apply some of that on the place that I just cut, and then I'm going to hold it down in place just for a little bit for the glue to dry and settle that skull right into the mirror. And then I'm just going to put heaps of glue all the way around that seam just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere and to add some interest because we are going to use my other smaller glue gun to create these little veins, if you will, or cracks in the glass or whatever you want to call them. And I'm also going to incorporate some of that glue coming into the skull and onto the skull as well. So I had no really rhyme or reason or pattern to do this. I just kind of started making these little squiggly lines coming into the skull. And as you can see right here, I'm just really having a a ball doing this I'm just having so much fun and I didn't want to I had to stop myself because I'm like okay stop don't keep going don't keep going it's going to be too much but you can see all my squiggly little lines right here all around that skull and then I'm just going to take some black acrylic paint and I'm going to go over that uh, hot glue that I just placed down and that's all nice and dry and I'm just willy-nillying it. I'm not uh, being precise. I don't want this to be perfect. I want it to look a little ragged and um, a little creepy looking as well. So I do paint some of the mirror. I'm getting all of that hot glue covered, of course. And then I'm coming in and I'm aging the um, sides of, or I should say the frame of that tray as well, just by dry brushing. And I'm you know, pick it up every now and then, take a look at it. I'm happy with it, so I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to come in and use just a little bit of the silver metallic paint, get some of that on my paintbrush, and then I'm just going to dry brush that onto where I have placed the hot glue. And you can kind of see it does add that highlight and really brings out those little squiggly lines. So we've got our low lights with the black acrylic paint and I'm just creating highlights right now using that silver metallic paint. And you can see those vines just really jump out at you. And we're gonna add a little bow today. So I'm going to flip my bow over so good side facing down. My center point is going to be the six inch mark. I'm gonna measure over three inches and then I'm gonna bring that roll just over and then I'm gonna come back, put my fingers at the six inch mark. Because this is a good side and bad side, I guess you would call it, ribbon, I'm gonna to have to twist it in the middle such that the pattern of the ribbon is going to show when I make my bow. So again, I'm going to come over another three inches, flip my bow over, and then twist it right in the middle such that the good side is always facing down and we do not have that unprinted side or unfinished side showing. Now that I've done the three inches, I'm going to do at four inches and I'm going to flip that over, twist it in the middle, and I'm going to continue on doing that until I've created enough loops. You can create as many loops as you want 
I think I did about three or four on each side. And then once that's done, I'm just going to cut my ribbon, get that zip tie, put it right in the middle, and that's going to secure my bow. Make sure it's in the middle, but I'm not going to fully close it just yet because I am going to create tails for this at 18 inches. So I'm cutting these at 18 inches, and you can see I only have a little left over from the entire roll. And then we're just going to dovetail those ends just to make it a little bit prettier, make it a little bit finished, fold it in half right at the center, and then I'm just going to feed it through that zip tie right at the center, and I'm going to bring those tails right down before I close that zip tie all the way nice and tight. Once that happens, I'm just going to cut it off with my scissors. And now we all know what time it is. <laughs> it is time to fluff that bow. And look how great it turned out. I just love this ribbon with the raven and the white. It just was so perfect for this project. I'm going to be cutting up my tool as well. I just got to create little tool bundles. All I'm doing is that I'm wrapping it around a little palette that I created a little while ago. It's my art palette for paint. And then I'm just going to cut right at the edges. And that's going to give me a couple of really good pieces with just a couple of cuts. Then I'm just going to squish it all together in the middle, fold it in half. And then I'm going to take a little zip tie as well. And I'm just going to apply it right at the very end. So I'm going to wrap that zip tie right around that center point at the end. Make sure it's nice and tight. Cut off the excess. And then I'm just going to fluff up my little tool bundle. This is going to add a little bit of interest to our little mirror wreath, our little skull wreath. And here we go, placing the final touches. I'm gluing down that nice, fabulous bow that we just made. I'm going to hold it in place just for a little bit to make sure it doesn't go anywhere as I, you know, continue fluffing. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add our little bundles of tool in there. I created three of them using that uh, roll, and here's the third one going in. And with some more finishing touches, I'm gonna glue on a couple of spiders just to add a little bit more creepiness to it. But it's not so creepy because they're glitter spiders. <laughs> and I did, Decided not to put that fourth one down. I thought it would be a little bit too much, so I just left that, and I was happy with the three spiders left. Look at our little skull wreath. I just love how this turned out. Again, that little tool with our little glittery spiders and our raven bow with our little hidden spider right in there. I love how the tool just adds a little bit more interest to our wreath. And it's a little creepy, it's a little cute, but I'm loving it and I hope you love it as well. I am enjoying making this Halloween series. Don't forget to come back and check out the next episode of this series tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.